Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to jump on and do this short quick update for everyone since I don't have a video recorded and edited and prepared for releasing today. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I was just working on this week. Um, so you can at least kind of see what I've been up to. It hasn't been anything I really think has been super exciting for recording. Uh, some of the skits are, I guess, may have been, and I'll be doing some more, so I will record some of that so I can show you. Uh, it's a little bit hard to place the camera around because I don't want to run it over. <laughs> um, so I changed up the yard a little bit. I've been moving some stacks of wood around. We uh, recently unloaded the kiln and put that all the dry wood down into dry storage. So that is all good and dry and down in our dry storage, which is... Uh, nice and organized now because I spent some time organizing that so the kiln is now full We have a little bit less out here now air drying uh, So I probably have almost enough to go into another kiln load of wood. So I don't know It probably won't be a million uh, Maybe a week or so uh, I hope you liked the last video that I just did um, I had posted a video on just making something with hand tools out in the yard. I just needed a day to uh, relax not a day, but that evening I was just stressed with a lot of things. Um, not going all that great all day. That day, just, you know, one thing breaking, another circuit popping in the garage while I'm trying to work, and just random things. So I was just like, you know what, I want to do something relaxing. So I decided I would start doing some hand tool woodworking on something that you would not normally probably make with hand tools. So somebody, a couple people had guessed, but yes, I am making a saw buck. So I have a bunch of slabs that had come off of the mill and hardwood. So I wanted to put the slabs and smaller logs on the saw box so I can make it a lot easier to cut it up with my chainsaw. At some point I have, I do have a uh, buzz saw that I want to restore and put a motor on. I actually have an old leaf vacuum over here that a friend of mine gave me, which has a six horsepower motor on it. So I want to take that and use that in order to power the bus saw. I'm not really sure when I'm around to it. So I wanted to make this buck saw so I can at least get that stuff bucked up without having to bend way over it with my chainsaw and be sticking my chainsaw in the dirt trying to cut cut stuff that's laying on the ground. On behind me, you'll see I have, this used to be a hill. <laughs> so I dug this all out with the skid steer. And I have a big flat area over here that's probably oh, 15 by 10 or so 15 by 12 that I have cleared out that I want to build a probably an 8 by 10 shed because we have all sorts of stuff laying around here um, like bikes and snow tires and sleds and I have a couple lawn mowers uh, yeah I know and we don't have a lawn but <laughs> someday we hope to have one uh, I don't want to just get rid of the lawnmower we got fishing gear leaning over here against the house um, all sorts of the typical outdoor stuff that your family would have and we don't really have a great place to store it So I want to build a shed over here. I already got a bunch of pressure treated lumber So as you can see that will be coming up soon. So I'll definitely share that with you I also cleared a spot over at the far end of the yard and already leveled a spot and started putting some concrete blocks down over here That's probably another section. That's about probably about the same size um it's going to be about 16 feet wide, maybe 8 or 10 feet deep. And I'm going to build a uh, dry storage, kind of like a lean-to um, for storing. I could store air drying lumber. I can store extra firewood, things like that. Um, I have this stack of short pine boards that I milled off of some short pine logs. Uh, I may turn some of that into stickers. And I also posted it up on Facebook really cheap. Uh, I have some boards here that are probably 16, 18, 20 inches wide that I posted up for like five bucks a piece just to kind of get people to come and take them and use them for their own projects. I have the wood here to finish up that saw buck. I don't know what you guys thought of that last video, uh, me working outside here with my hand tools and just making um, the, the initial legs for that. I need to make three, two or three more uh, of those X setups, then some boards to go across to hold it all together. And then maybe show how it's used but i don't know if you guys would want to see me finish making that it's probably going to be kind of repetitive because i'm going to make like i said two or three more of those i don't know if you really want to see me do the same thing two or three more times but um you know let me know in the comments below what you think of that and 
Uh, of course, when I get to making the sheds, I'll definitely share that with you. I have to re-level the sawmill again, but I have some ideas for making that a little bit more secure. Um, so yeah, I, the, tomorrow I'm headed out to do another driveway uh, with the uh, grading box that I showed you. And I'll probably actually probably record that for the next couple of days and show you that job because there'll be nobody there. And I feel a little weird bringing my camera out when people are home and working around their property. So I don't know. I know a lot of people do that, but I don't know, just something when I go out to do stuff, I don't typically bring my camera if people are around. So I have my landscape rake, my York rake and my box blade. So I'll be loading that up on my truck and trailer to bring out with me tomorrow morning. So I'll be recording that and showing you showing you doing those things. I have a large slab in the workshop. I flattened one side of it. I didn't record that, but I will record flattening the other side and I'll show you my whole router sled jig. Uh, I'll probably do some of that this coming weekend once I get this job done. Uh, the kids and I are heading off to a Red Sox game on Thursday night. I know this guy's excited about it. They're playing the Angels. They're playing the Angels, so he's pretty ex excited about that. I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fun. Yes. Um, I I know that some people saw that I had, uh, I think I was just covering the microphone if I was, sorry. Uh, I think some people might have saw on social media. I just posted it on my own personal account, but... Um, I interviewed for a part-time job today, so I don't know how that's going to go. might just be something I just do on the side, freelance type stuff, doing computer work. Um, I got my grapple finished and fixed. I think I showed you that already. But that's pretty much it for this week. That's pretty much what it's going to be this week. The slab in the garage or workshop, the saw buck, and working on that driveway that I'm doing for the customer while they're away. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions and, or want to know anything else about what we have going on here in the shop, the sawmill, around the property, uh, jobs, things like that, throw them down in the comments below. We always love to chat with you guys. Uh, sorry I didn't have a video recorded and ready to go. Hope you don't mind this little talking head video, kind of filling you in on what we're doing. Oh, that's another thing we'll be working on, filling that woodshed this week with some firewood. So anyway, until next time, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Leave a comment below. We'd love to chat. Talk to you soon. Bye.